This is a beat I made. And these are three of the best music producers on Fiverr. And this is them remixing my beat. Nice little Pharrell little beginning there. Ooh, and you chopped it crazy, bro. Is that reharmonized? That is so jazzy, bro. This is feeling like Christmas now. I think this one's gonna get crazy. This is remixed on Fiverr. But let's take it back a few days and let me show you how I made this beat. That is super smooth sounding. I haven't added guitar to a beat in a while, so let's try adding some of that. That sounds amazing. I think I need to just speed this back up to the regular tempo so I can hear how it's supposed to sound like. That sounds so sick. I think it's time we start adding a little bit of those drums that I love so much. Okay, this is sounding perfect. All this needs is some of that sticky vocal magic, some sound effects, and a little arrangement. Let me show you what that sounds like. I am so excited to see what these guys come up with. Let's send this to them and find out what they can do. That's nice. That's, that's got that groove, like you can't help but Bob your head. Can't help it. Bob your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah, help yeah, yeah. it. Oh! <laughs> I like the bass. The lights. I'm gonna have some fun with this one. Hey there, my name is Mifa, I'm a saxophone player and producer from Russia based in Berlin, Germany. My first gig on fire was about sampling and remixing, so I'm super excited about this project right now. A big thank you goes to Fiverr, thank you for inviting me, I really appreciate the opportunity and let's get started. So the first thing I had to make sure that I listened to the beat a couple more times, I find the parts that I really like and I found this synth step sample. Pitching it up 13 semitones and 30 cents down. Now it sounds like this, but that was a bit too fast for me and I slowed it down. The original sample had this low bass note that I didn't want to have because I want to use this sample as a melody and this would interfere with my new bass, so I had to add a low cut. I also chopped some of the parts that pitch them so they can fit my new chord progression. Then I went to my sound library and I found this amazing sound that I really wanted to use. Since the rhythm of the main sample is pretty straightforward and static, I thought that I would need some rhythm in the chords. Here is my rhythm that's gonna be juxtaposed to the main static formula. The chord progression is pretty simple, I just changed the major 4th chord to the minor 4th and added some extensions. And I added a hi-hat playing quarter notes. Here it is. For the transition between the introduction and the, so to speak, main part, I have used my beloved trick, an automated reverb. And the chords are quite syncopated, so we need some stability or we need them to be more present. I knew that I could achieve it by giving the same rhythm to the kick drum and to the bass and then juxtaposing it with the rim shot playing on 2 and 4. Now as we have the solid foundation, it's time to add more details. Mm -hmm. 
In this main part I also start to feature another sample from the original B, which is vocal chops, and it sounds beautiful. This is how it all sounds together. I'm trying to develop the groove, so I was thinking about introducing the quarter note hi-hat again, the one that we had in the introduction part. When the quarter note hi-hat joins, it kind of brings the beat together and adds more movement to it. I wanted to prepare the hi-hats before they jump in, so I added a transposition automation and it sounds like this. Together with the, with the Nolsim effect called washed out, it just washes everything out. Together with the low cut, it works just perfect. I also thought that I want to add an extra lick to this main part to make it more funky and video game kind of inspired, just for one second. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this beat and I hope you enjoyed watching my creative process. Shout out to other beat makers, shout out to Siki Beats and thank you Fiverr for having me. Have fun, enjoy. First we have Mifa. Ooh. Is that reharmonized? I like the Ooh, this feels kind of like housey. Got like an entire new chord. Ooh. Oh. Hold on, let me listen to this. That is so jazzy, bro. I think you pitched up the guitar there. And the way that you reharmonize, I still can't get over that. That is smooth, bro. Ooh. It picks up. You got me dancing, bro. And you have like nice, subtle ear candy. Chops though. Ooh, very the effects on that is super dope too. Ooh, dude, that sounded so sick. I wasn't even expecting that. Just the theory and the musicality behind it is just really like I, I want to go back and dissect that. That sounds dope, man. Thank you so much. We're from Cloud Road Music, a team of musicians from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Today we're gonna be looking at a track by Siki Beats and our team is going to work on it across New Zealand. On the North Island team, we have myself, Johnny, and Bray. On the South Island team, we have Yifei and Rain. We hope that you enjoy our kind of fusion kind of remix, I suppose, will, will be in the end. First thing I heard was this little melody at the start. Yeah. It was like the... So it's that little descending scale. Yeah. And I was like... Like, that would be so cool if I could put that onto a synth or something. So yeah. I tried. But uh, when you have synths like that, you can kind of do lots of little harmonies and layers and yeah. start sounding really sweet. Mm. So I got another one down here, and I was like, oh, there's also some really lush chords behind that too. Yeah. So I thought I gotta put in some this fluid chords. It kind of glides between the chords. Oh. So it's like. So it's like a, not just one note sliding, but all notes kind of, oh yeah. Just to bring out that extra level of emotion. Then we've got you to help us with my guitars. Got some, <laughs> got some acoustic and electric guitar work. I just really love like an open corded strummed acoustic guitar. Oh, so we've got two layers so of like, of, of just so open chord strumming. That's just so beautiful. Yeah, simple <laughs> eh? Just so nice. The chip tune almost takes a step back now. Yep. And now we decided, Let's transition fully into yep. into an acoustic. And we also kept uh, DJ Siki's drums here because they were just hidden really hard. So didn't change those, but changed the instrumentation. Mm -hmm. And uh, check this out. I want to try and build an orchestra around it. Oh yeah, that's a cool yeah, idea. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'll start with the strings, I'll build a sequence around it. Providing solid rhythm to go board. 
like a, like a sequence, it'll, it'll give it like a drive. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then with the rhythm, get some, some cool drums, whether that's orchestral drums or something else to kind of um, reinforce those beats. I'm also maybe thinking of adding some uh, female vocals. Because you know how that epic sound sometimes has you know, oh, like, yeah, like a grand establishing shot, you have like, um, the like, soaring, like a yeah. soaring female epic yeah, vocals. Yeah, yeah. Add uh, some of that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, that. well then if we want to make it really cinematic, we could, you can always add like little like impacts and, and swells and things. If we want to go the orchestral route, I kind of want to put um, some oud on it. I like that idea. Cool. Yeah, I might, I might thicken the melody up a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Just reinforcing. Some, some strings, legato strings. Maybe some French horn. So I think I will probably add in some some runs, orchestral runs, like like a flourish to glue the passages together, and yeah. then I think we have a solid plan. Yeah, that one. Is. Yeah, we hope you enjoy our mix. Thank you, Sicky Beats, and thank you, Fiverr, for including us in this. And uh, talk it there. See you later. Next, we have Cloud Road music. Ooh, that's a, that's some cool sounds. It feels like like a Zelda or like a Nintendo game. And that's an interpolation too. Like that's the the melody that he replayed out. That's awesome, dude. That's not easy to do. Nice little build up happening, okay. Ooh, that was cool too. Nice little ear candy. Ooh, the guitar sound beautiful too. This is feeling like Christmas now. What is going on? This feels like it could be in like a Disney children's movie. This is awesome. The strings are beautiful too. And he's kept the theme of the original melody in here and, and it truly feels like a remix right now. This is great. Beautifully mixed too. Wow, that felt like it should be a commercial for like the Disney Plus subscription. That's amazing. Thank you so much for submitting. My name is Kev Keys. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, and I live in Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm a music producer, vocalist, and songwriter on Fiverr. Thank you so much for having me for this challenge. I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen from it. I'm excited to use that beginning part, that intro. I think I'm gonna chop that into some samples um, and then make like a lo-fi soul trap beat. All right, so I took the beat um, and I chopped it into samples, um, at least the beginning part of it. I pitched it up a couple of semitones and then from what I did there, this is what you hear. So once I had that on a loop, um, then I started to search for my drums. And my drums actually came uh, from 40's very own drums. These drums, I used some one shots in there, a hi-hat, a clap, I believe, and then also a kick. So this is what came out of that once I added that into my, once I added that into my mix, take a listen. All right, and then after I added my drums, um, then I decided it was time for bass. I usually go with my chords first, then my drums, and then I added my bass third. So in this case, I also use uh, another sound from 40s set. This one is from the 40s very own keys. This one's called Big Bass. 
Take a listen. And then after I added my bass, I wanted to add in another melodic element. So I added in this piano lead again from 40's very own keys. That right there is pretty much the, the basis of my beat. So now from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it. For the arrangement, um, I started off with using one of the stems. I used the guitar and I kind of looped it a little bit um, in the beginning to give it like that Pharrell beginning where it has that four count. Take a listen. I also added in some strings. Um, these are the session strings from Native Instruments. Um, the strings are very subtle in the background, but you'll go hear it. And this is what the plugin itself looks like. But take a listen. And then lastly, I added in that little lo-fi piano part. Once I've got those four counts, um, now I wanted to go ahead and bring the sample in. So take a listen. I'll play the four counts, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like when the sample comes in. Also, I put a filter on the original beat, brought in those hi-hats. All together, here we go. All right, thanks so much, Fiverr, for having me on this opportunity. I'm super grateful. Um, I hope you liked the beat. It was, was fun. Thank you again. Have a good one, guys. And finally, we have Kev Keys. Nice little Pharrell little beginning there. Ooh, those keys are nice, dude. Like nice and soft. I see the guitar filtered out in the background. Ooh, you got some trap drums in there, cool. Ooh, and you chopped it crazy, bro. The mix of it is nice and tight too. Very nice minimal production there is dope. The way you chopped it, dude, is so interesting. I feel like this is like the verse. Kind of feel like the energy came down a little bit. This would be great for like an artist because it's like got so much room in it. like a pre-hook now. Max, I can't get over how you chop this, bro. Dude, wow. Just the chopping alone just feels like such a brilliant way to approach it. Dude, that sounded super smooth. The way that you chopped the sample, the intro where you stuttered the beat before bringing it in, and the keys in the intro were also sick, dude. Really well done, man. Thank you again. Man, all of these guys did a really good job of showing what they can do. We really had some great talent for this one, and everyone brought their own uniqueness. Mifa's remix showed great musicality with the way that he reharmonized the original melody. It added a playful and simple syncopated rhythm. The whole remix was up-tempo, electronic, jazz, and none of that was expected. Cloud Music's submission was captivating with video game and anime influences with a touch of nostalgia. The guitar layers evoked this warm country sensation. The true highlight was the final section which transported me to this magical realm straight out of a Disney fairy tale. Kev Keys had this top line melody that was very captivating layered on top of the filtered out keys from the original sample. The 
phenomenal production and the expertly chopped up sample was just really well done. Before I let you know which one was my favorite remix, let me know in the comments which one was yours and let's see if we're on the same page. Every producer did such a great job, which makes this part of my job the hardest thing. I hate it. <laughs> but my personal favorite for this episode of Remix on Fiverr is, drum roll, Cloud Road Music. Congratulations, you guys did a fantastic job. I can tell you guys are true professionals from the way that you guys write your melodies to the way that you arrange. But don't worry, I'll be back for another episode. So if you wanna stay up to date, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.